morning and thank you for taking the time to join us in today's hearing. The cost of childcare in America has gone up 2,000% in the last 40 years, 2,000%. The average cost of full-time childcare is now 16,000 <coughs> per year, and that is about half the medium income for a single parent. Almost the same as the average annual cost of in-state tuition at a public university. Across America, working parents are struggling to make sure their young children have decent, high-quality child care and at an affordable price. So this morning, we're here to find out how the federal government can better support families around the country, find and afford high-quality child care. It is also important to remember that this is not just a problem for young families raising children. There is a larger social and economic impact on all of us when our youngest children do not get the care they need. It is now well established that the first five years of life are critical for cognitive intellectual development, particularly the development of language. More than that, the first five years are when social emotional skills develop. I wish I had good child care when I was five years old. Self-control, persistence, and the ability to cooperate with others began to develop in early childhood. And if we failed to invest in those early years, we all pay the price later in higher incarceration rates, poor health, and reduced performance in school and the workplace. On the other hand, educating our children in their earliest years is recognized as having among the highest return on investment of public funds. Every dollar spent on early childhood education results in $8 of social benefits according to a 2015 report from the President's Council of Economic Advisors. That benefit is mostly in the form of increased earnings when those children we invest in go to work. But we should also see the benefit today. Our economy loses $57 billion each year because <laughs> American workers miss time at work or leave the workforce when they cannot find or afford child care. We can avoid that present cost and see economic benefits in the future if we are willing to go to work in this subcommittee to address the need for early childhood education and face the crisis in child care. Well, this is harder than I thought. Okay, so I look forward to hearing the ideas of our witness. Oh, hold on. We do have a proposal on the table. It is called the Child Care for Working Families Act. It supports families by capping how much they pay for child care and invest in the child care workforce. So the people who care for our children are finally also recognized as the teachers they truly are. And I am sure there is more we could do. I look, so I look forward to hearing the ideas of our witnesses today. And I now recognize.